Again. Can I help you? Yes. Can I get a hot fudge sundae, please? And I'll have a cone of pink bubblegum surprise. Uh huh. Man, you always go for the sick flavors. Life's too short for boring ice cream, Ben. You know you're right. Hey, make that a butterscotch sundae with double sprinkles and the cherry on top. That's it, Ben. Live on the edge. So, what are you doing for your science project? Still waiting for inspiration. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'll creep up on you when you're not looking. <laughs> what if we tested a school for signs of intelligent life? Oh, gross, look at this. How disgusting can you get? Uh, uh Ben. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Hey, what's your problem? Hey, look at all those ants. That's disgusting. Are they all gone? Are there any in my hair? Even if there are, the lice will probably eat them. Very funny. Oh no, Dave, watch out! Could you give me back my aunt? Thank you, falling off. Uh, <laughs> name is Lance. Traitor's ants. Nukem Pest Control. I hear you got a nasty infestation. <laughs> sure got here quick. Speed is the best defense against the crawling menace. <laughs> Actually, my office is just down the street. <laughs> Care to show me where it is, boys? Uh, you show him, Dave. Yeah, you gotta go get your comic book anyway. Yeah. No, it's okay. I, I got tons of comic books at my house. Don't do it. You're afraid of a few little ants. Just afraid? No. Nah. No, because we're a thousand times bigger than that. <laughs> yeah. Don't underestimate the enemy. <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah. Amazing creatures, aren't they? <laughs> Did you know that there are ten quadrillion of them on this planet? Yeah, and like half of them are in this room. Pound for pound, they have the same biomass as humans. <laughs> I had not this part. Hey, if things had been a little bit different, they'd be the dominant species instead of us. Ah, Come on, man, let's get out of here. Yeah. I found the nest. Oh, this guy's weird. Eliminate the queen. <laughs> Destroy the nest. <laughs> oh. Problem solved. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, I'm gonna hurl. Oh. You sure know your stuff, don't you? First rule of pest control. Know your enemy. In a town as infested as this is, you better learn something about the enemy, too, son. Here's a place to start. Awesome ants. Designer ant habitat. By mail. They're the best in business. I was trying to find a science project. Uh, looks like that science project found you. <laughs> Is 
Is that all you're eating? I'm not a breakfast person, Mom. Andrea, that is a complete waste of food. A complete waste of a life is more like it. Don't be mean, David. We have a delivery. I'll get it. Morning. That's weird. I got a delivery here for a Dave Warren. That's me. Here you go. Awesome ants. But I just sent away for this yesterday. Sign there. Where do you want the other box? Other box? I don't think I like this, Dave. There must be some mistake. This is just supposed to be an ant habitat. Ant habitat? It looks like they say you a dairy farm. How much does this thing cost? Five bucks. Well, they must have got your order confused or something. No, it, it says right here, Mega Deluxe Model A Ant Hood. That's what I ordered. Hey, be careful with that. It's not like it's radioactive. No, it's worse. Ah, here, instruction manual. No way, I have to read all this? There can't be this much to say about ants. Hey, look at this. Awesome ants food pellets. Feed ants one pellet per day, do not overfeed. Wait a minute, if these guys only need one pellet a day, how come they walked off with whole hamburgers at our last barbecue? I don't know. Better get this thing started. Yeah. Late for school. As you can see here, they've already started to build a hive. Down here is the queen's nest, and up here is the egg chamber. Those are eggs? Hey, you're just in time to watch me feed them. Come on. They break it up into small pieces and carry it in their mouths to the queen. Oh, that's sick. You know, I'll bet these guys would appreciate some real food. Um, you know, Ben, I don't think we should do that. It says right here that we can't feed them anything but the pellets and only one pellet per day. Well, it must be a misprint. How can they survive on only one stupid pellet? Here we go. Nice and juicy. Here you go, guys. How about some Captain Crawl for breakfast? No way! Did you see that? Hey, I told you they were hungry. I guess you were right. I was probably starving them to death. I'll bet they want another one. Wait. I've got a better idea. been in this fridge for days. My mother was just going to throw them out anyway. I can put this in my report, how they respond to different food sources. Sounds like a plan. Here, put one of these in while I time to see how long it takes them to eat it. Oh, my brother's going to eat that fast. Awesome. Come on, put another one in. Oh, yeah. Warning, do not overfeed. Overfeeding may lead to rapid growth. Maybe we shouldn't have fed them. Thanks, Mom. I think I'll pass. Okay. 
Suit yourself. have left the farm and made a foraging trail into our kitchen. They sure have gotten big. David! Mom, the best thing to do is just leave them alone. When they're done foraging, they'll return back to the nest. Oh, sure, easy for you to say. Well, that's it. I'm moving in with the neighbors. I can't believe they can grow so fast. Amazing! have an interesting family structure. One mom and about a million kids. In closing, ants are truly awesome, although most of the time misunderstood. Thank you. Hey, you can fool your teacher, son, but you can't fool me. What do you mean? Ain't no worker ant bigger than Nardina Perona Grandis, and they only get to be two inches. In your video, those ants are three inches, at least. They're fake, and you know it. They are not, they're real. Can't be, because if those ants were real, we wouldn't be around for long. Problem. I've been feeding your ants hot dogs and stuff, and now they're... You didn't read the instructions, did you? You've got to get out of there right now, young man! Oh. Hello? Hello?
Mr. Lance? Must have been a dream. What's going on here? It's called breakfast, in case you forgot. Huh? Hey, don't be a pig. That's more than I get in a whole week. Andrea's right, Dave. This is no time to start changing rations. You put some of that back. Fine, I just didn't get much sleep last night. Had the weirdest dream. I'll get the shovel. Well, don't just stand there, Dave. Go on, go get some buckets. Come on, David, hurry up. Let's go. Thinking of things that being maybe just a little bit different, we'd be the dominant species instead of them. I dreamt that things were different. And heads were so small you could fit a thousand of them in one hand. And it was your job to kill them. <laughs> Don't let them hear you say that. This seems so real. I started to believe it myself. Better gather some food before it's all gone. Thank you.